Hey guys, it's Chad here from Minnesota online here with the Online Prosperity Show with Prosper. Today we're going to learn about my journey and how you can benefit and make money by doing what I'm doing from home, online, anywhere in the world. So stay tuned. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, all the way from Minnesota, Chad, how's it going, my man? Hey, we're here. It's cold here. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, if you come to Melbourne, man, um, we have four seasons in one day. So if you don't like the weather, you just wait a minute. Something that you like will come in the menu right there. No, nice, Chad, nice. Chad, obviously, to our viewers, um, they're not aware of who you are and what it is that you do. So that's the reason why we brought you in um, you know, on our show today. First of all, I really, really respect your journey. I respect what you've done, who you've become, and what you have to share. And also, being an ent internet entrepreneur myself, I look up to people like you that have been in the game for over 10 years, have put in the work in personal development, have put in the work in actually learning the craft, and are still at it. You know what I mean? Because what we have now is a generation of people that want instant gratification. So I hope that you're here to pull the curtain for us today and show us the skinny of what it actually is and what it actually takes to be an online digital entrepreneur. Now, tell us a little bit about how you got started and what your story is there, Chad. You know, I was um, 11 years ago. I was a brand new dad. And... Um, I wanted to be a stay-at-home father for her because, you know, I've been in corporate America wearing a suit and tie, living in a cubicle for, you know, 20 plus years. And um, I was tired of that. The internet is now giving us the opportunity to do anything, learn anything in a matter of seconds. All your phone, your, 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 your Google, Yahoo, you can Google it, you can learn anything you want. So. 11 years ago, I was a brand new dad, and I wanted to be a stay-at-home you know, father for her. And I always known that because after work, I would go to my computer and Google, make money at home. You know, how do you do this? So asking a lot of questions. And <laughs> after being off for, for like 90 days for, for, you know, for having a child, I went back to my corporate job. And I just said, I'm done. And I quit cold turkey. And my wife, I, I had money in savings. And I was alone. I had no contacts. I knew nothing about marketing online. Nothing at all. And I spent, in my first year, I spent over $20,000 on courses, on products, on learning how to do this. And I made no money. Zero. My first year, I was trying so hard to do this on my own, thinking that I could do it on my own, follow a course, and because I'm not technical <laughs> at all, you know, it's all it was over my head. Um, I, I was failing miserable, and it wasn't until somebody out in the blue said, I've been seeing your videos on YouTube, I've been seeing you online, and you're doing everything wrong. I said, I know. So I got to know this person, and um, I I spent six thousand dollars on in, a, in an online business from him. I said, I will join you. I'll buy this product from you with one condition: that I can fly to Canada and spend four days with you and your wife to learn how to do this. And he said, sure, no problem, not realizing that I was serious. Well, two weeks later, I flew up to Toronto in Canada, and I spent four days, you know, 15-hour days with this person and his wife to learn about lead generation, about marketing, you know, pay-per-click, you know, all these things that I had no clue about. I, I knew the... Uh, the term, but I didn't know how to do it. And then I came back from that experience 
And while I was there, I did a first Yahoo campaign, generated some leads, made 10 bucks in a matter of like an hour. I, I, I could not believe what I learned and applied with their help. And I came back from that event and started to, to follow what I learned and I started to make a hundred bucks, hundred bucks a day. And then it was 500 bucks a week. And then it was a thousand bucks a week. And then I had my first thousand dollar day. And so, you know, my best month so far has been $37,000. So not, not bad, you know, um, but it's all about doing some simple things, being consistent and really becoming a student. Now you fast forward 11 years, the things that I learned back then are still applied, but it's all changed because the internet is this, is this thing that moves. You, you, you learn something today, you apply it today, it works for a few months or years, and it stops, right? And um, so you have to be a constant student, learning, 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 applying, applying, applying. And in doing that, being consistent, being humble, you can then, you know, build a six-figure you know, seven figure, you know, business on the internet from your home. You know? Understandable. Well, Chad, thank you so much for that insight. And obviously thank you for your story because in life we are here to leave, learn and contribute. And we learn from mistakes, but the thing is we can't do all the mistakes. So we also get to learn from people like yourself and, um, right about now there's so many lessons that you've put in there um, that we sort of going to be unpacking as we go along thank you so much for that now chad when you left corporate america you know at, at that time having spent 20 years uh you know in some sort of cubicle um you know doing it for the men and you decided to stick it up to him and <laughs> start your own thing per se but you did it right about the time when you just had your daughter now yeah. Walk us through that whole transition of you trying to get it all figured out and you trying to learn to be a dad at the same time. So you hear you're an entrepreneur, you're learning to be a dad and what was going on in, in within your household? The reason why I'm asking this question is a lot of people would stop dead in their tracks when such a scenario presents to themselves. They're just a recent father and things are not really working out at work, but they're just really going to suck it up. You know why? Because the daughter at home and they don't want to upset the balance. Sure, so just, sure. give, us, give us a bit of a breakdown on, um, you know, how you went about it just, you know, to sure. give other people strength and knowledge of w what, what is involved. Well, you know, what, what, I, what I knew is that if somebody else was doing it, I can learn how to do it too. It's not overnight. It's not your first 30 days. It's about being a consistent. I tell people it's a 12 month plan. It's a 12 month journey. So being a brand new dad, my why was, was her. I was able to be here, you know, you know, take care of her, you know, drive her to, you know, daycare or, um, to, um, What's that? When they're like swimming lessons or ballet lessons, yeah. Yeah, they really go to this, and and so being a stay-at-home dad, I, I can have the flexibility to come and go as I please, and do that. That's my why, because I couldn't do that working, you know, 10, 12 hours, 12 hours a day in, in my corporate sales job. And so um, it's really about taking baby steps, do something consistently, do it often. And over time, you'll see something happen. It is, it is such a nominal movement. You may not see it, but others around you will. It, it's like losing weight. You know, in your first month, you don't really see anything. Your second month, you feel better. Things are fitting better. And people around you are going, geez, are, are you working out? You look great. And you don't see anything, but it's so small. These things you do every single day, uh, are what really makes a person be successful or not. 
You know, it's not gamers quick. It's not, you know, there's, there's a reason why university and college is, is a two or four year degree because you can't learn how to become a dentist, you know, in, 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 in five years, in, 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 you know, in one month. There's too much stuff to learn. <laughs> Great stuff. Because obviously the people that are um, obviously watching this is either millennials or people that are really um, used to the culture of, you know, instant gratification where, you know, you, you put in a coin, you expect something out of, out of the, you know, what you pick. So uh, talking about putting in a coin and expecting a toy out, you dropped 20,000 and you got nothing, but you yeah. soldiering on. Walk us through that, um, that scenario where, you know, you, you put in 20,000 worth of courses, but you got in profit. You know, it's because I was doing it all on my own. I'm not technical. You know, things did not make sense to me. So I kept on trying, trying, trying. I knew that it was possible because as you get online, you join you know, Facebook really wasn't even around then. But you join the, the reforms and you ask questions and you see people that are having success. You know, the, the person that, that, that I was my, my mentor up in Canada, you know, he was, being, he was making a you know, quarter million dollars a year from home. And, and he wasn't anybody special, but he's he just been doing it longer. You know, so um, I knew that it's very much possible. And today, you know, there's so much information. You know, it's, the, the Internet has changed so much. Um, and, and I'll share some of these things, things later on, but... Um, if a person really, really wants to become a student in this industry, literally in three to six months, they can have a business up and running. And by doing it the right way, the smart way, can be in a position of cash flow every single month. And that would be that is life changing. If you can help somebody make a thousand dollars a month, well, you can help them make two thousand dollars a month. You know, and that goes on and on and on. So um, there are too many people out there now. If you Google, you go, you go, or you go to YouTube, there's lots of people out there supposedly been made, making money. And I would probably say 90% of them aren't. That they're faking it until they make it, right? So it's really, really important about who you gravitate to, who, who you're going to be learning from. And so the reason why I think I've been so successful is because I give back. I remember, remember what it was when I first got started. You know, I remember that place. And um, I try and help people, coach people, give them some information, give them some homework to do, and help them become, become accountable to themselves. But in today's world, man, if you want to learn something, you can. Being, a, being an entrepreneur, you know, this way, just because you want to quit your job because your, your boss is a, is, a, is a mean person doesn't mean that you should be an entrepreneur. Because most of if they, even they say, I want to be an entrepreneur, I would probably say over half of them shouldn't be because they don't know what it's like, what, what, how hard it is. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it is hard. It, it is damn hard. Really? I thought all you had to do was put up a website, you know, put up a couple of pictures on Facebook, um, you know, and uh, throw in a couple of dollars to Google, get some traffic in your pipeline and wait for the money to start <laughs> trickling in. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, you, know, you know, if somebody says that to you, run away. <laughs> I'll just be honest with you. There's so many things on the back end that a person needs to understand and, and, and learn from trial and error. You know, I failed thousands of times, right. but I've won hundreds of times. Great you know, stuff. I just keep on trying, trying, time to find something that works, and then you scale it up. Great stuff. You know? So, Chad, knowing what you know now, let's take you back 11 years ago. What would you do differently in order for you to not go through, you know, the hurdles that you went through? What, how would you start if everything was taken away from you right now, but you are 11 years away? 
I mean, even 11 years ago, what, where would you start and how would you build back to where you are right now? I would um, ask more questions. You know, I know a lot of smart people. Because I learned during that first year that the only way that I'm going to learn is by learning from somebody who's been, been there and done that. So I ask a lot of questions now. or I tell people to ask questions. Um, I would, if you're looking for a digital business, I would find one which I can share with you what I'm, what I'm building today where 90% of the work is done for you, all the back end stuff is done, you need to, to learn about driving traffic. You need to become a student. And now there's a lot of different opportunities out there that, that I, I market currently where a lot of the heavy lifting, all the things that I had to understand the coding years ago are, are now done for you. So if a person really, really wants to make money online, whether it be a hundred bucks a month or a thousand dollars a month or ten thousand dollars a month, they can. But it doesn't happen in 30, 60 days. You know, so it's not the instant gratification that people want. You know, and we're so used to the internet of Xing out, watch a video. Oh, he says do A B C and I can do this. And people are still so gullible saying, Well, I joined, I did what he said. And I didn't make, didn't make a thousand dollars my first week. You know, it, it takes time to do these small little things, um, but it's possible because I'm, I'm doing it. There are thousands and thousands of people out there that are making money six figures online, who you may never even meet or talk to, but they're out there in the in the back end somewhere. You know, you know, not very many people don't know who I am, right? But, but today, I made over $1,000 today, right? But you may never know that, you know? But um, because of all the things working behind the scenes, because the internet is 24-7. Automation is 24-7, right? If I make a YouTube video today, it plays across the world all, all the time. You know, it, if I buy some, some traffic on Facebook or buy a solo ad, it's automation, right? Email marketing, text blasting, it's all automation where it's so much more easier today. It still takes work than it, than compared to what I did, you know, 10 years ago, right? right. But, but it's totally doable. But you have to learn some skills, apply some things, be consistent, and your mindset is the most important part of this because you know I'm human right I have good days I have bad days life happens right you know it happens out there but how you deal with it really makes the, the, the difference right I, I'll say that I work smarter and sometimes harder at home than I ever did in corporate America right Right, because it's me, you know. I haven't had a paycheck from a company in over 11 years. It's wow. me, you know. I'm, I'm the one that's making it happen. Great stuff. Now, now, Chad, you did touch on a very important subject which separates um, every, you know, entrepreneur out there that's actually making money and those that are not making money. And um, before we jump onto that, if you're watching in the audience right now, this is about the time you could really, um, you know, start taking notes and also subscribe to this channel because we're bringing in legends like Chad that have been through what you're going through right now and have had and now have businesses that are actually profitable and they enjoy talking about them so that you too can learn from them and go out there and have a happier existence. Now, Chad, you did mention something that is very crucial because um, everybody sold the dream, but the hustle is sold separately. You know, like batteries come in separately and it's all to do with the mindset and the greed. And as you have told us, it wasn't easy for you when you started, you dropped in a lot of money and um, you had no people that were supporting you. And obviously our environments are 
not supportive because one in every 400 people tends out to be an entrepreneur. And that 400 people is the people that we sort of grew up with. So the support that you need, you have to seek out for, but you also have to have that confidence and that tenacity to reach out to people that already are where you want to be. How does okay. mindset and self-development really play a major role in the success of anyone in the online space or anyone in life in general? Well, it's like this book here, Think and Think and Grow Rich. The by Napoleon Hill. Yes. It's been out there for years. It's a great book. You know, this new one is called A Legendary Marketer by David Sharp. Okay. Great new book. It just got published um, 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 you know, last month. So if you're not filling your mind with self-development, learning, thinking, being conscious, you're missing a, you know, a, you're missing a big boat here. You know, people that are successful – do things differently than somebody who's not successful. Either, either from a mindset, from a reading, from education, from applying. You know, somebody who makes money online as somebody who doesn't, doesn't mean that that person who does is smarter. They just do things differently. And so success leaves clues, right? So... I would copy what someone's doing. To the, you know, there's a quote there by Anthony Rob, you know, by Tony Robbins, right? And it says that find somebody that is doing what you want to do. Copy them to the T, and you should have similar success, right? So if you become a student of somebody who is doing what you're doing, I mean, and you do exactly what they do, success leaves clues. It still takes work and education on how to do things. That's the difference between somebody who's successful and not successful, or somebody who wants it as a hobby or as a full-time gig. You know, it's, it's not magic, right? It's not. <laughs> it's not a magic pill you, you, you eat. Awesome, bang, successful. No, it doesn't happen that way. Great stuff. So I've been watching a lot of webinars, been reading a lot of books, consuming, consuming, consuming all that content. Does then that make me, um, you know, I just go in, start doing the online stuff and then it starts working or oh, there's yet other things that needs to be done because I could go on Amazon and buy Think and Grow Rich, but is that going to be it no 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 that, that, that yeah, feeding your mind a positive being around other people that are like-minded in facebook forums, facebook groups you know talking webinars you know those are all just one piece but now it takes the part of taking action you know in, in, in any business it's about getting eyeballs to a video or to a website or to a presentation. The more eyeballs you get to your video, the more customers, more people have questions you're gonna have. So if you start a business and nobody sees you or finds you because you're not driving traffic there, there's a reason why you're not making any money. Right, it's, 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 it's common sense. If you have a a, um, a retail environment store is about getting customers through your door, right? If nobody comes and sees your stuff, you can't sell anything. Because in life, the only way you make money is from selling a product or a service. You know, there, there's no other way. Right. Great. Right. Stuff. Now, now, obviously, Chad, you've been dropping a lot of bombs here, and somebody who's watching right now is full with questions and they need answers what's the best way that anybody can get a hold of you and how can you help them if they knock up on your door you know i'll give you a couple websites <clears throat> one is called um cash flow king.org you know cash flow king.org 
if you Google my name, you'll find me everywhere out there on, on Google, on, 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 on YouTube, you know. Um, and so my name is spelled, you know, Chad, C-H-A-D, and then Nielsen is N-I-L-S-S-O-N. That's N-I-L-S-S-O-N. Um, you can find my blog of whoischadnielsen.com. So who is Chad Nielsen dot com? Um, that those there's a few ways to, to find me there, um, and the probably the most important way is to you know, go to my website of uh, cashflowking org and opt in. You know, get on my email list, start seeing what I'm doing, and take action because. The reason that I made a thousand dollars today wasn't from today's activity. It was from last month, two months ago, three months ago, you know. But being consistent in my business, again, getting eyeballs to my video, to my, to my presentation, is how how you make a lot of money, right? Great stuff. I will definitely be putting all that information. Um, the website who is Chad and yeah. um, the, the other one cashflowking.org and oh, yeah. uh, show notes there so that people can literally, I mean, can get, get a hold of you. Thank you so much for awesome. Um, awesome. putting that through there. Now, Chad, before I let you go, what is one last piece of advice that, you know, somebody who's maybe sitting on the um, edge or just not really sure if they're doing the right thing and they're probably on day number 11 and they're already <laughs> starting to think that all of this is bullshit and everybody else is not going to, um, nothing's going to come out of it. What sort of words of advice can you give them, um, you know, to, to keep them going on before they off themselves? You know, there, there's too much success out there online to prove that this doesn't work. You know, there are millions of people that are making a full-time income from a coffee shop, right, online, using automation. The thing about it is, are you going to learn how to do what they're doing in 11 days? No, you're not. I tell people, again, it's, it's a 12-month journey. You will become a different person in 12 months, you know. But the other thing is here is that I tell people, if you're in a home business, act like an entrepreneur, you know. Don't be a secret agent where you're involved and no one knows. Tell somebody, right, because here's the fact. 70% of everybody in the world, 7-0, are not happy in their job. From their manager, from the hours, from the income, from the drive, whatever it is, 70%. So people are looking. People want a way to make money from home. They have more time, more freedom. The question is, will you do what it takes? Is your why big enough? And I tell people this, when you understand what your why is, you will do things that you thought were not possible because you didn't give up. You know, there's a reason why everybody who's playing a sport or going to the Olympics, the reason why they're there, because they work 12, 16, 18 hours a day for years. And that's how they become that acid, that, you know, that person. So don't think you're gonna learn everything overnight. Trust me, take baby steps. But the thing is, take that first step and don't quit. And, you know, 70% of people hate their job. 70%. You know? That's, a, that's so an awful lot. I know amount. my audience out there is huge. Yeah. Huge. That is a lot. When, whenever you get 100 people, there's 70 people that are actually not enjoying waking up and doing what they are doing. That's right. Well, Chad, I can't thank you enough for, first of all, your time, your value, and your expertise that you've just shown us on this show today and um, availing with us all these strategies and, um, you know, ways for us to be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. 
on behalf of everybody else that's watching here, I can't thank you enough as well for giving us contact with you so that we can learn from you. Like we said earlier on, people are here to leave, learn, and contribute. You, my man, have contributed. Now it's our duty to start learning from you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Prosper. Thank you.